welcome home, new brother. Guys, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm about to spend a hundred days with a brand new billionaire family. And yes, guys, that's billionaire with a B, not millionaire with an M. And honestly, guys, I think my brand new sister right here, Sally Smith, seems a little bit excited. And not gonna lie, guys, do you see this house? Do you see how beautiful this house is? I think living in a billionaire family might change my life. I'm gonna say, Sally, can you show me around? This house kind of looks amazing. And uh, yeah, there's no way that car is owned by us. And you can see right now, she just said, sure, why not? Well, guys, hopefully this experience goes well. But just as a reminder, make sure to join the Mikey Mob down below because there's around like 60% of you who aren't a part of the Mikey Mob. So what the heck are you doing? Hit that like and subscribe button and join the family. But it looks like my mom or dad owns some sort of expensive Ferrari. Look at this beautiful lake house. And wait, speaking of mom and dad, wait, is that my new mom? Oh my goodness, wait, mom, is this you? Are you a part? And wait, she just said, ooh, and... Oh, oh my gosh, guys, my mom is so tall. She's wearing like the biggest heels or something, but she just asked, are you Mikey? Yes, are you my new mom, Lorraine Smith? And not gonna lie, guys, I expected a billionaire family to live in a nice house, but this house right here is amazing, guys. We're in the middle of Lake Madison and things so far look so amazing. Oh, welcome home. What an adorable boy you are. Gee, mom, thanks for that, but why are you so tall? You look so classy when you're good. Gucci sunglasses and your Gucci hat. Where's dad, by the way? It looks like it's only my sister and my mom right here. Well, your father went on a commission to Europe. Wait a minute, Europe? My dad is traveling internationally? I mean, I guess that's what happens when you're a billionaire inside of Brookhaven. You gotta make some money somehow. So I think dad is always going on these vacation trips, but you can see mom just said, he'll be back in a couple of months, but that's okay. He makes good money. Well, of course he makes good money. Can you afford this? house if you weren't making good money i honestly don't really think so but wait a minute mom i've kind of been here the sun is already coming down can you make me some food i need some sort of snack right now because my stomach is grumbling of course let me see if the butler can make some food for us oh gosh guys wait what i never had a butler in my family before this is kind of cool and you can see my sister right here sally smith is turning on the fireplace but you know what guys oh wait a second Hey, Butler Cap! Hey, Miss Smith! Wait a minute, guys. Is that my family butler? And wait a minute, guys. Why does he look like he's kind of sad right now? He's moving around super, like, negatively. Are, are you okay, mister? I think his name is Butler Cap, but I gotta figure out what they're doing. Make some food for us. My baby boy is hungry. Okay. Guys, I feel so bad. Why does this butler look so sad? And you know what, guys? I'm gonna see if I can talk to him. He's walking around and kicking the dirt, guys. I'm gonna say, hey, Butler Cap, my name is Mikey, dude. Nice to meet you, and I think I'm a part of this brand new billionaire family. Hey there, Michael. You can call me Butler Cap. Um, Butler Cap, do you have a first and last name? I feel like calling you Butler kind of seems a little bit mean. Jay Buttersnaps. I don't really have a name. I've been called Butler Cap my whole life. Jeez, guys, I feel like that's kind of dehumanizing. Butler Cap, you're supposed to have a name, but you know what? Hopefully my family's been treating you well. My mom seemed kind of nice to you in the beginning, but Butler Cap, why do you look so sad? Oh, don't worry about it. It's just me. I love this family. Well, okay, Butler Cap, but I don't want you being all sad. Honestly, guys, I feel a little bit bad, but wait, my mom just showed up out of nowhere and she just said, hey, after you finish our food, can you clean the house? Yes, of course. Dang, guys, you can see right now, Butler Cap is very dedicated to me and my family. I'm gonna say thank you right now because, honestly, Butler Cap seems like he needs a little bit of a pick-me-up. And you know what fragrance to use. Sheesh, guys, my mom seems a little bit stuck up. She's just bossing Butler cap around but you know what guys i feel like that's what happens when you're in a billionaire family but you know what i'm gonna say butler cap instead of you actually cleaning you can finish up the food i'll actually help you out and start cleaning some of the house up i appreciate that really yeah don't worry about it butler cap i'll help you out and i honestly want you to feel a little bit better because you look super sad right now so let me see if i can just grab this vacuum and start vacuuming the carpet and oh my goodness guys what is this raccoon saying you are you doing? Uh, mom, I'm just helping out Butler Cap right now. He's finishing up the food and I told him I'd help clean up the house a little bit. That's the butler's job. Uh, okay, mom. Um, you don't want me to help him out and clean up the floor for him? Last time I checked, you're my son, not my butler. Well, geez, mom, I was just trying to help him out, but 
I, I guess, um, butler cap, my mom just kind of got mad at me for cleaning, so do you need any help? Anyways, we're hungry. Be quicker, please. Oh, don't worry. I'll be okay, kiddo. You know what, guys? I guess I just have to sit around and stuff with a billionaire family. It comes with some pros and cons, but... I don't really like how my mom and sister are treating Butler Cap. He's still a human and he's helping us out so much. But you know what, guys? My main mission in this 100 days with this billionaire family is to try and teach my mom and sister how to treat people with a ton of love. So for now, guys, I guess on day one, we're just going to have to sit around and watch some TV while Butler Cap does all the work. You can stop here, Butler Cap. Well, guys, it's been around 22 days now spending some time with this billionaire family, and slowly but surely, I really think my mom and my sister are treating the butler, Mr. Huh? Butler Cap right there, with a little bit more respect. And honestly, guys, it was my idea for me and my sister to go to the park because even as a billionaire family, I think we're just inside way too much, and I definitely want to have some time playing as a kid at this brand new park. Like, look, guys, and wait, wait where is Sally going? Is she... Staying completely away from the park. Hold up. Wait, Sally, come over here. Get back over here. Why are you running away? Sally, we're at the park and we never really get to play outside. Come enjoy the pool. Ugh, I don't want to get my clothes dirty. They're designer. Oh my goodness, Sally. Relax about your Gucci and your Louis Vuitton clothes. We have to be a kid. Look at the pool. It looks so fun. You know what, Sally? Come back here. I'm going to push you into the pool. And oh, no. Oh, no. She's getting mad at me. She's getting mad at me. No, relax, Sally. Come on. Hey! Stop! Ow! Oh my goodness, guys. I can't believe she accidentally pushed him. And wait, he's he's smiling. Wait, what the heck? Butler Cap isn't mad at all. Oh, that was so funny, Sally. Oh my gosh, guys. He's not mad at all. See, this is why I like Butler Cap so much. He knows how to have a fun time. And I don't think Sally even wants to go into the water. So, Sally, move over. I am going to be doing the 360 Cannonball. <laughs> and... Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. This is so fun, and Butler Cap looks to be having so much more fun, and wait, look at Sally, guys. She's being so stuck up. Um... Kid, I can't swim. Oh my gosh, guys, Butler Cap is being so funny. That's why he's staying over there at the edge. I was kind of wondering why, but... I don't know why Sally over there is being such a killjoy. Come on, Sally, jump in. I swear it'll be fun. Your clothes are going to be wet and gross. Don't worry about that. We brought extra clothes in the car. No, I am not going in. Well, you know what, Sally? You're lost because this is actually really fun. Well, if you're not going to come in, Sally, you're going to be missing out on all the fun. And it looks like Butler Cap just got out because he doesn't know how to swim. And wait, she just said, Hey, Butler Cap, can we get ice cream? Guys, <laughs> ice cream sounds delicious. I need a treat. Oh, yes, of course we can. Wait a minute, you two, you better not forget me. I want some ice cream too. All that swimming made me exhausted. So let's head on over back to the limo right now and see if we can get some ice cream. A few moments later. Okay, guys, here we are. How did my sister Sally come up with such a good idea of getting ice cream for a snack? And oh, guys, they have my favorite flavor, bubble gum. And oh my gosh, guys, you know what? Let me see if I can get a scoop of this. Sally, what are you going to get? The birthday cake has extra spring on it so that sounds pretty good but you know what for now i'm gonna see if i could buy the ice cream for me and my sister just because she got a little bit upset and wait wait a minute guys uh guys wait sally this is a little bit awkward the credit card that mom gave me for emergencies is getting declined wait can you see if you have money right now why is my card getting declined guys huh yeah i'll try yeah please try yours right now and Okay, the money sign is coming up, but wait, you're getting the same exact message. Why are we getting declined? Um, did mom forget to pay our bills? I have no idea, Sally, but we can't go home with this ice cream if we can't afford it. Um, Mr. Butler Cap, do you have any money on you? Me and Sally's cards are actually getting declined. Oh. Look, guys, he looks a little bit shocked right now. We're supposed to be a billionaire family. Why is our cards getting declined? This is a little bit weird, and thank God Butler Cap is here, because he just said, Sure, I'll pay for it. Well, geez, guys, that was a little bit weird. Thanks, Butler Cap, but... 
Why was our cards getting declined? You know what, guys? We have to head on over back to the house right now because that's a little bit embarrassing, guys. If I'm going to be living in a billionaire family, there's no reason our card should be getting declined. All right, guys, we're back at the lake house, but you know what? Uh, Butler Cap, I'm sorry. I have to rush inside because I have to figure out where my mom is. And wait, wait, mom, you're just staring at that plant. Mom, Um, something weird happened at the ice cream shop. Oh, hey, yes? Yeah, me and Sally were going to buy ourselves some ice cream when... Both of our cards got declined. Thank God Butler Cap was there because he had some extra cash in our limousine and he actually paid for our ice cream. Oh, about that. Wait, about what, Mom? What, is everything okay? Why did our cards get declined? I just got a call from your dad's boss today. He got fired. Wait a minute, fired? Is that why we got declined? Were we running out of money? So they canceled all of our cards. What? Oh my gosh, guys, wait. I thought living with a billionaire family, we would never have to worry about money. What are we gonna do? There's no way we can afford living in this beautiful home if dad got fired i don't know how we're gonna be able to keep up with this house wait a minute guys does that mean we're gonna have to move out of this beautiful house i thought living with a billionaire family this would be like the best experience we'll figure it out ma'am we always do well i hope so well at least butler cap is being a little bit positive but guys i'm a little bit worried what is gonna happen to this house Hey, Mikey, can you go help Butler Cap? You can pick up the boxes with him. Guys, I can't believe it's taken 77 days, but we're actually moving out of this house, guys. Our money is basically non-existent, and we literally are forced to move because we can't afford it. But, Mom, are, are you sure we're going to be living in an okay house? I know that we were billionaires, but you literally had to sell all of your clothes. You look completely different. Well, I don't know, Mikey. Let's hope your dad will come back with something. You know what, guys? This is a really bad feeling, but let me just go help out Butler Cap. I got to make sure that my sister has packed all of her boxes. And look, guys, he already looks so upset. Hey, Butler Cap, are you okay? I know that we have to move out of this house, but trust me, we're still okay. We all have one another, but I just feel so sad that we have to leave this house. Oh yeah, I'm okay, kiddo. Help your sister out, would you? Well, okay, you know what? And oh my goodness, guys, my sister's dancing on top of her bed. Sally, why do you look so happy that we're moving? Let me grab that box from you. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm not happy. I'm just jumping on my bed for the last time. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so sad, but you know what, Sally? Let me grab that box from you. I'm gonna bring it over to the moving truck, but guys, I can't believe as a billionaire family, we are actually losing access to our house right here. But you know what? Let's just put the boxes in the car and start packing up the rest of our things. Because right now, guys, we're really having to change our lifestyle. And look, guys, you can even see the for sale sign in the front of the house. This is going to be a really big difference. But wait, wait, mom, did you just hear that noise on the TV? Wait, wait, what's happening? Ladies and gentlemen, we have breaking news in Brookhaven. The Brookhaven lottery just hit a total prize pool of of a hundred million dollars. Now make sure to head on over to any gas station or any store to purchase yourself a chance to win a hundred million dollars. Wait, mom, did you just hear that? They're giving away a hundred million dollars with the Brookhaven lottery? Can you imagine if we won that? That would be insane. That would literally help us out a ton. That's a lot of money. A hundred million dollars? Yeah, but not gonna lie, guys. If this was all over the news, there's gonna be people all over Brookhaven trying to win it. There's no way one of us is gonna win. Michael, be more positive. We can win that. I mean, I guess, Butler Cap, but there's no way. There's only four of us, and there's probably a million different submissions. Yeah, Mikey. Don't give up. It's our best shot to saving this house. Well, I, I mean, I guess, Butler Cap, but it seems kind of crazy. Not everyone can win the lottery. I will prove you wrong. We definitely win that, Mikey. You know what, Butler Cap? I'm just gonna let you think whatever crazy things you want. I'm gonna go upstairs and grab the rest of the boxes and figure out what we're gonna be doing, but there's there's no way you win the lottery. Mmm, this waffle is so delicious, but guys, living in a smaller house now has really been a life changing since we started off as a billionaire family, and I don't really know how we managed to make it. Like, like look at this, guys. My mom is so sad, and my sister somehow found some weird piggy helmet, but you know what, guys? Let's just see what's on the news for now. Welcome back to Brookhaven News. We have some breaking news. We wanted to announce that a winner has been found for the Brookhaven Lottery. Now, a few weeks ago, we noticed 
notified everyone in Brookhaven that the prize pool has raised to over a hundred million dollars. Now since that was a few weeks ago, we are happy to announce that the prize pool of over one billion dollars has been won. The winner of the Brookhaven lottery decided to stay anonymous, but congratulations to him or her and good luck with that money. Wait a minute guys, did you hear that? Sally, someone actually won the Brookhaven lottery and it was a billion dollars. I wonder who that could be, but wait, wait a minute. Butler Cap'n, wait, he just said, Guys, I won! Wait, won what, Butler Cap'n? Why do you look so happy? What do you mean, Butler? I won the lottery! Wait, you were the one who won a billion dollars? There's no way. There's literally no way. Actually, that's so amazing! And guess what? Wait, I don't believe you, Butler Cap. Wait, he just said, I bought your old house! Wait a minute, guys, there's no way. Prove it to me! Butler Cap, wait, how did you do that? Oh my goodness! I told you, Mikey. I told you I'd manifest it. You know what, Butler Cap? I'm sorry for being so negative when that news announcement came out, but if you actually bought our old house, we owe you everything. How can we repay you? You guys have always been so nice to me. It's time for me to be nice to you. Guys, I can't believe this is happening, but if he's actually real, let's head on over back to the lake house. Guys, I can't believe he did it. He actually won the lottery and repurchased our old lake house. And thank God no one else bought it in between. But guys, this is the biggest life lesson. Even as a billionaire family, if you treat people right and treat people with love, it will always come back to you. And I think Butler Cap was the perfect savior for our family because even though we went broke, he won the lottery and decided to show his appreciation back towards the billionaire family. But ladies and gentlemen, if you guys guys did enjoy today's Brookhaven video, let me know down in the comments and don't forget to join the Mikey Mob family by hitting that like and subscribe button and don't forget to use the best star code out there whenever you're purchasing Robux and Premium and that is star code Mikey. We'll see you guys in the next Roblox video. Have a fantastic day and once again, goodbye everybody.